Give it up for DC Benny! So we moved from the city to Brooklyn, and Brooklyn, uh, oh man, I love it. Heard this argument out the window the other day. One guy shouts at another guy, you know what the real N-word is? Psh, knowledge. Uh, and that's how the day started, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Brooklyn joke. Yeah. I love it there. I love it there. Uh, you know, we don't have some of the amenities. When it's like in a city, man, we were here, we had a, the superintendent of the building, right? Superintendent of the building has a guy who takes care of stuff, for those of you from out of town. I think supers have superpowers, like the power to disappear anytime there's some stuff that needs to be fixed. You know, they, they hear you coming quickly in the shape of a cotra. <laughs> You're standing right here. And my super would never fix anything. You know, it, it would always, you know, like the toilet breakdown, I'd call him. He'd explain all this technical stuff, you know, we're hopping, we're hopping the, the pie, how is on crack, and water go to play because the other pie is way for the water come the way, but he don't go the way because the. Uh, <laughs> The one back there, little ball, pot to float on top, but it's saying, I think it will happen, maybe somebody very strong, like your wife, she coming, she flushing too hot. That's the break, the toilet, but don't worry, I get the part, I call to somebody, my cousin, sometimes he there, sometimes he don't there. And that one, very expensive, take a long time, maybe 30 days, you know, <laughs> maybe even one month. <laughs> it's a little math joke, it's a little math joke, everybody. Yeah, we're warm enough, it's gonna be good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So we moved out to Brooklyn, moved into the city, moved out to Brooklyn. Uh, we got an uh, old building, a fixer-upper, which means it's messed up. Like, you know, holes in the floor you can reach through and change a light bulb on the floor below. <laughs> and my wife got this uh, Russian contractor to do some work. You know, this guy Vladimir, he shows up. Uh, this guy clearly had done time, like he had the teardrop tattoos on his face. Whoever drew him, drew him crooked so it looked like he was crying in the wind. Uh, <laughs> And Vladimir's English was pretty good, but he'd take an English word and use it out of context. It'd make me a little concerned, like the word technically. He loved that word. I'd be like, Vladimir, can you fix that hole and knock out that wall? Yeah, 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 technically, yes, yes. <laughs> then he's speaking Russian to these two guys. His wit sounds like English being played backwards. He'd be like, schnitz, kipiesh, 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 his phone goes off, it's got a Russian rap ringtone, schnitz, to the pies, shoot the nits, kipiesh, get the nits, kipiesh, 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 at the, end, at the end of the ringtone, this DJ's voice comes on and goes, Russia is the best, right? So <laughs> the work starts, right? This guy disappears. He leaves these other criminals there. Like one guy has a tattoo on his neck of an angel holding a box cutter. You know, it's not going to be good. You know, I'm like, <laughs> they're smoking in the house. I'm like, hey, no smoking in the house. Where's Vladimir? Me, skip, skip, yes, yes, yeah. Trying to make conversation. What's that tattoo mean? To kill. Okay, you can smoke in the house. You know. So Vladimir shows up two weeks later, my wife's like, you gotta confront them. I'm like, all right. You know, so I go, I'm like, dude, where were you? I have, what is word, uh, date. I'm like, a date? Uh, court date. I'm like, what happened? I go, with this girl on date, she talked, she talked too much, I punched her face. <laughs> like, you punched her face? Technically, yes, yes. So, so he gets fired. My wife fires this other guy, Kabir from Bangladesh. Kabir shows up, work is great. Everything's on time, but he, he kept trying to add, we have a very small budget, I'm a comedian, he kept trying to add stuff to the budget, you know, he pulled me aside for these secret architectural meetings, like, please, I want to talk one moment, I want to build what is called in the back of the house, this one uh, little house, you know, this good, this good for the time when your wife get crazy, I have cramps, you bloated, I want to put in the house and close the door. No, yeah. <laughs> Let me just run that by her at a menstrual shack, we'll see how that goes. 